Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Oh my god. To our Cell channel. Today is our weekly review of the gains and losses and also the review of current news. Yeah, so leave a like and subscribe guys. And we're gonna go right into our portfolio. Bam! Alright, here we are. Um, so as you can see, we uh, kind of lost some money. Uh, 248 um, because of Friday you know if everybody knows Friday was a terrible day in the market but Thursday was like a great day so I mean I got trapped that was a great bull trap for me because I bought into uh, some stocks here so we're gonna get into it so number one we got Apple uh, we are four four dollars yeah, five dollars so, you know, still Apple's... still an A rating uh, according <laughs> to, to Schwab yeah still an A rating um, I, 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 I don't think so I right. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh we bought i think we probably already talked about this but we bought some canadian natural resource um and we are up we are up is uh how are oil prices doing oil prices are still looking better in future but we'll see you know we'll, we'll see. see we'll see uh, if that we'll continues yeah. um, i saw this thing go up to 40 bucks so i was like pretty impressed that was yesterday on thursday i mean thursday a carnival cruise line you know we know it's terrible yeah pretty bad pretty but bad it is what it is delta airline um still, pretty bad as well still pretty bad yeah everybody's grounded as you know yeah <laughs> we'll see we'll see yeah. we still have uh you know we're still holding on we don't think yeah it's gonna go anywhere i don't think so yeah. so you know we're so grounded uh mother nature told us stay down so we're down here uh gilead science their drug actually was approved for emergency treatment so yeah. fda approved yes so, so you don't know you don't know you know yeah even if this drug fails i still think gilead is gonna be very profitable so i'm saying invest i mean well don't take my advice you know we're just youtubers at yeah. best and we're not even good at that anyway <laughs> <laughs> Pepsi Co incorporated what do you think we're up well Schwabi gives them a C so that's pretty good yeah why well, is it pretty good is it ABC C, a, a, C D and F we yeah. got some we got some maps yeah but right, C so. though is bad no <laughs> yeah. anyways but Pepsi is doing well uh we wanted to buy more of Pepsi yeah, we're probably gonna buy more uh, Pepsi I think is thinking about doing uh, buybacks this week has told us that all right so I still think it's a good buy and we'll probably continue buying it all right Royal Dutch Shell so I bought into this um, and we're this is gas you know Shell gas station we'll see maybe it'll go up maybe not we'll see Visa incorporated you know we're down but it was actually going positive for a little bit yeah but this is a long hold guys i'm holding on to this bad boy <laughs> anyway walgreens boots pretty bad it was doing okay before but yeah mm. we'll see how it goes walt disney walt disney complete f mm -hmm. um still i like you know disney and uh we'll continue buying it so yeah you have, may have noticed we don't have tesla stock anymore oh yeah so we bought uh, we sold tesla stock and good timing too we bought we sold it around 789 dollars it went up to 800 elon musk tweeted that tweet we'll get into that in a minute so anyway um going into the etfs etfs we got ftc doing pretty poor ibb doing okay Vug poor so you know as expected everything is as expected nothing too crazy here. The only thing that's uh, my wild card, I guess, would be the CNQ Canadian Natural Resources. And Shell is somewhat of a wild card, I would say. And my Tesla wild card is um, out. If you want to see a video about um, how I believe that the stock market is going to go down, I highly suggest checking out the video I talked about previously. All right. See the link. Yeah, right there. Over bang, here. Bang. And we're going to talk about some other newsy stuff here. I saw some things on Yahoo Finance that maybe we could talk about a little bit. The Great Repression um, is here and it will uh, make past downturns look tame, economists say. So, you know, other economists saying that the recession is going to be crazy and this downfall that we just had is nothing for what we're about to see. Uh, Berkshire uh, doesn't need me. Warren Buffett's uh, successor is better than I. Uh, we have the Berkshire Hathaway annual meetings and um well we'll we'll talk about that maybe in another video if you want to catch that you know subscribe so here's another um article about Gilead coronavirus drug gets fda not yeah 
Yeah. It's a buy, guys. Whistle. It's a buy. It's yeah. a buy. Okay, so this is a good one. Amazon CEO tells investor, you may want to take a seat as he explains why the company will spend entirely a four billion dollar profit. So what I believe is Amazon is probably going to buy a lot of companies as um, they're about to fall and everything like that. I feel like AMC would be a great, great, uh, great buy for them because Amazon is actually making money off of new release movies like Trolls and other movies that are coming out. They're making $20 per new movie or something like that. Something pretty good and it's actually working. If they make all movie theaters into Amazon and just kind of make it so that it's like very like limited um, sort of seatings, then I think they could gain a lot of profit from that. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I, if I was Amazon, you know what? Maybe not. Don't listen to me, Amazon. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, you're smarter. You got smarter guys out there. All right, so it may go away. Is warning stock investors now more than ever. Hey, that's a, that's what a lot of stock investors say. Sell in May and go away. And then go away until like, you know, fall, winter time. That's what they're saying. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll do that. Who knows? And right here, Tesla stock price is too high. So a great time that I bought out, you know? So now Tesla stock is like around 700 and um, you know, it's going kind of crazy talking about how he wants everybody to go back to the moon and you know, go to work. Yeah, so uh, Tesla lost uh, overnight $18 billion in investments or something, yeah. according to some news. Uh, and we all talk about how inflation is um, on the rise possibly so your dollars are going to be a little less meaningful there's a shortage in food and the food chain supply is going to be a little more expensive you know next time you go to a supermarket expect it to be a little bit more expensive all right that's just the truth and your dollars are going to be worth a little less so because everybody's getting a 1200 dollars uh, stimulus package it already caused inflation, all right? And now everybody else is getting another 1K. It's gonna continuously be inflated, plus the unemployment benefits. So you can just expect a lot of dollars to be out. So what are people gonna be investing in right now? Personally, we're gonna, short-term wise, we're gonna stay in the market. Uh, Mid-term wise, I'm gonna start investing a little bit in Bitcoin. I'm just saying. So if you wanna hear more about that, I'm gonna make another video about that. Um, Bitcoin and I think our savings account depending on what happens in the short term of the market the uh, Fed might decrease the, 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 the savings account um, interest rates so we'll be seeing yeah we're gonna do a video about um, our savings account because um, interest rate is, is lowering so Discover Bank isn't 1.7% like it used to be it's now 1.5% and a lot of banks are like that too so we're gonna probably see negative interest rates coming up soon um and maybe not it kind of depends we'll see well you know we'll talk about it in another video and uh that that's all inflation so honestly realistically you should not be saving your money at all at this time um the economy does not want you to be uh in in you know holding up on cash okay not definitely not in your savings account all right so everything that your mommy and daddy say about saving your money it's no good right now. It's probably the worst time to be doing that. You know, start uh, moving your money around. Stock market is pretty high right now. And you know, there's a lot of job losses, a lot of unemployment. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that is pretty confusing. Why is the stock market up when unemployment is up and nobody's really working and the economy is terrible? Well, I'm gonna tell you to this simply. The economy is not the stock market, all right? I don't know where you got that from. The stock market, when the stock market is up, it does not mean the economy is good. If you ever hear people say, oh my God, the economy is good. It doesn't mean that the stock market is amazing, okay? It just means that the economy is good. Everybody has a job, everybody has money, money flowing around and everything. It could conclude to good stock market, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the stock market is good too, okay? And same thing, vice versa. Stock market is up, economy is low. It is what it is. We'll probably see like some kind of a uh, middle coming up and that's what I believe in. So anyway, that is everything for today. Uh, there's a lot of videos coming up. And next week, we are going to talk about our portfolio again. So please subscribe, leave a like, and peace out. Stay safe.